I came home tonight and I went onto YouTube because I was going to upload information. I got an email from Publish America saying they're having a special where you can buy my book for $9.99, 24 hour in this 24 hour period. So I was going to upload the information, but then I saw an email from Anna where she is um, directing me at, uh, to Twitter. And I'm, I was never able to understand Twitter. I, I don't get it. I don't get what hashtags are, but I went on there and I saw this drama going on, um, Jermaine Jackson's Twitter page, how he is pretty much um, saying he feels bad for the believers, you know, he understands we're in denial, but we need to basically move on and get a life. And, um, and then, you know, I saw Winghart, who I believe is, um, I forget her name, but she was the Michael Jackson's makeup person. And um, she asked a really good question about the family was waiting until they found the right words to put at the, uh, you know, at Holly Terrace at the marker or the shrine for Michael Jackson. And she asked, why hasn't anything been put on there yet? So, so, so this drama is going on, and then Jermaine Jackson says to Pearl Jr. Basically, um, shame on you. And I thought to myself, well, you know, maybe, maybe it's somebody who really, maybe the Jacksons and Michael Jackson had nothing to do with this death hoax. Maybe it was somebody who has a grudge against the Jacksons, or or whatever. And then as soon as I thought maybe that, I thought to myself, but, but, but no, because let's, let's think back to the, the memorial and let's think back to the burial. And yeah, the immediate family was there, but what about the extended family? We've said it before, but where were certain people that really should have, would have been there had he really died? And and you know every, everything just started screaming in my head not to give up believing um, because he, here's this other thing and I shouldn't open my mouth about B. Howard anymore because I embarrass myself consistently when it comes to him um, like the other day he posted a picture on Facebook and then when I went to look at the pictures I saw this picture of a a stage with an unusual design and and pictures of what looked like you know like monitors of what looked like B. Howard in, in the photo and um, you know I basically said oh what's your stage design? <laughs> the stage that I was referring to was actually Prince's stage um, and the design I was talking about was the symbol that he went, went by and it's like I am so out of it. I'm clueless when it comes to a lot of that stuff and I'm consistently embarrassing myself but I'm gonna do it again. So saying that I don't get Twitter, here's my question. Um, he, so from Jermaine Jackson's, you know, because I'm really not understanding what's going on with all that drama, I happen to go to be Howard um, what is it? B. Howard Genesis Twitter, just because every once in a blue moon I'll check in there on the 3rd of May, and it probably has nothing to do with anything. Doing a show that is projected to the seven wonders of the world is, and then hashtag, one thing I never done, and I am looking forward to doing it. So I'm just um, thinking that for a young artist, there would be many things he's never done. But for an artist who's done a lot of things, here's another question I have. We know that he was at the Jackson House. The, well, we don't know for sure. We've read in an interview, feeworldorder.com, that he was at the Jackson Encino compound he slept there June 24th to June, what? Well, he slept there that, and he was informed, you know, that Michael Jackson was in the hospital. That's what was in the news article.
I asked him if he was at the hospital, and he said, his words, I was at the hospital before, during, and after. And I said, how did you leave? I mean, we, we, we saw people come and go, and I didn't see you. And he said he left through the basement, which I went to the hospital, and that's where you would park, is underneath. So um, I, I want to know if he was that close with them, why wasn't he at the funeral or the burial? And, you know, that other person, like the OB Galaxy one, why did we see him in the front row? And yet, we didn't see Brandon Howard at all. So, I don't know. I just don't get Twitter.